Okay, so we're trying to find the horizontal asymptotes of this function. We know that function takes questions to an answer. What 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 up here is eye catching? I'm not necessarily looking for correct things. I'm just looking for interesting things. The bottom. The that, that's kind of interesting, isn't it? What do you see going on there? I don't know what it's called, but you know how when we first started, we was doing it, taking this stuff out, taking the numbers out. I, I forgot what it's called. Oh, like factoring? Yeah, factoring. Okay, we could factor. We could look for things that are common there being multiplied all across. Do you see anything that's commonly being multiplied? Six. The six. So uh, th these are the kinds of things that I love seeing. I, I love seeing mindsets and, and you thinking where it says, okay, this thing looks interesting to me. I'm not worried about doing the right thing. I'm just worried about something that I know could happen. And I'm curious what that might be. Okay. Now, horizontal asymptote, this is a, a scary sounding word. It's a new word. It's a mathy word. I'll tell you what it means. But all it means is something you get close to but never touch. Okay. Okay. So it's something that we, we continuously approach, but I can't actually get there, you know, as I'm approaching it. It's kind of like a nice guideline of saying, like, if I kept going half the distance between me and my wall, and then I went half the distance again and half the distance again, I would never reach the wall. The wall would, in that situation, not be touched. Okay? Okay. So let's play around with this thing on the bottom. Um, we could throw in some interesting x values, like, I don't know, zero, and that would get me some place that starts over here. And I could play some other x values. What I like to do, and this is the, the really transferable skill that you can use when you go into your career, is you should always think about situations in extremes. Like, if you're going to set up a party, you want to think about what happens if five times or 20 times as many people show up to the party as you were planning on it, right? Mm-hmm. Or if nobody shows up, what are we going to do? Like, we kind of talk about it in extremes, and if we can handle those, we should handle everything else. Fair? Yeah. Okay. Here's my question for you. If I put in a huge number for X, like 5 million, what's going to happen? Uh, that's too big. That's a big number, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's think about what happens in terms of general terms, because otherwise our heads will explode. And in fact, if you try this with a calculator, calculator is not going to do so hot. So we actually, as mathematicians, have to handle this with just some logic. But let me ask you this. If 5 million is a big number, right? Mm -hmm. 5 million cubed is going to be a big number or a small number? Big. Okay. So we can already kind of get a little bit of pizza. What if I add it to 5 million cubed? What if you add it? Yeah, so I've, I've done this part here. I plugged it in. You said big number. I, I'm going to add it to 5 million squared. Is that going to be a big number or a small number? Big. Big number still. If I subtract 1? It's, just, it's still going to be big. Just it's still going to be big. What if I multiply by 6? It's still going to be big. It's still going to be big. What if I do 8 divided by that big number? It would decrease. It would be very small, right? Mm -hmm. So notice what's going to happen. As we go off this way, you said it dead on. It's going to decrease. Mm -hmm. It's going to keep going down and down and down until there's nothing left, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's your asymptote. It's the thing that you approach, which is what? What are you getting closer and closer to in this picture? A lower number. Which, yep. So so uh, what's the, the number that you're approaching forever close to? Eight, is it? Ooh, what you said was I took eight and I divided it and I got a small number, right? Right. Like how small? Like really small? Smaller than whatever number you plug in. Yeah, it's certainly smaller than eight, right? Mm hmm Okay, so what what's it kind of get close to? One. Mm -hmm. Think about it like this way. If you have eight, let's say, I don't know, objects, apples, cookies. Let's say I have eight cookies, and I divide it amongst five million people. How much does each person get? <laughs> Eight divided by five million? Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know, a hundred? Everybody gets a hundred cookies? I don't know. Think about it. You got five cookies. You got to go give it to all of India, or you got to go give it across the entire U.S. How much How much of these five cookies does everybody get if they all get the same? A half. A half? That'd be, that'd be five million halves. That sounds like a lot. Wait, you saying you only have eight cookies, but you have to give it to five million people? Yeah, so I'm I'm walking us through you the way we talked know. about. We had eight divided by a lot. What's right, that gonna get have, us? You don't have enough to give it to everybody. I'm not gonna have much at all, am I? 
Right. We're going to have almost nothing, right? Right. So okay. zero. That's exactly right. You did that brilliantly. So the idea is, is that as this thing goes forever over this way, you get closer and closer to having no cookies that anybody gets, right? Right. That's your horizontal asymptote. Your horizontal asymptote is zero. It's the thing that you approach as you look at these extremes. Oh, okay, okay, I got it. It's kind of cool, right? Yeah. So if you do it with this one, now, this was, a, a, I will say, an easier setup because sometimes we will have, um, like, let's say, an x squared on the top. Like, we mm -hmm. could put an x squared up here. This one is going to be maybe a little bit difficult. Or if we had something like with x to the fifth up here. Now what we're really talking about is something that's changing divided by something else that's changing. But thankfully, we have a technique for doing that. We do our polynomial long division, right? Which can be a little bit of a burden, but it will tell me exactly how I'm going to divide these eight and five million to the fifth cookies amongst everything else. We just do our polynomial long division, run that thing down to a new way of looking at it, and we always get some kind of expression like i don't know it'll maybe get us 4x to the uh, squared plus x minus 7 plus a remainder or whatever right mm -hmm. so if you do this thing here this is just an example nothing close to what we have up there but if you did this one here you could still now look at that logic of saying what's going to happen if you look at a five millionth cookie or like you're going to you're a five millionth situation you're going to be plugging in five million squared is huge plus this is huge, minus seven, still huge, plus almost nothing tells me that this whole thing comes out to huge. And then it tells me that there's nothing I approach. I just grow forever big. Mm -hmm. So it's all in, the, all in the realm of stories. Is that helping feel like this is a little bit more approachable now? Yeah.